Hi, I'm Dr. Sathya Chinadere. I'm the Director of Animal Health at the St. Louis Zoo. In the Department of Animal Health, we're lucky to have veterinarians, veterinary technicians, as well as pathology, quarantine, and support staff that provide for all the medical needs of the entire group of animals that calls the St. Louis Zoo home. And together with our veterinary staff, nutrition, endocrinology, and especially the animal care team in the River's Edge, we've been monitoring our 23-year-old Asian elephant, Ronnie, throughout her long pregnancy. One of the most important parts of pregnancy monitoring in elephants, as well as with people and other animals, is ultrasound monitoring, or performing a sonogram. Even during the zoo's public closure for the pandemic, the animal care team has worked with Ronnie to allow for twice weekly ultrasound evaluation. Due to an elephant's large size, it's difficult to see the entire calf with an ultrasound probe placed on the abdomen. So we use a combination of techniques to assess both Ronnie and the baby. First, we assess Ronnie using a technique similar to a horse or cow. And from this approach, we can see the cervix and part of the uterus and monitor for any changes in the shape and size of those organs, as well as see the normal fluid in them. After that, we perform a more typical transabdominal examination of the uterus and the baby. We're looking for any changes in the placenta and uterine fluid and checking for the baby's size, movement, and position. On our most recent exam, the baby is moving around quite a bit. We can see fetal movement on Ronnie's abdomen, and on ultrasound, we see that the baby is active and kicking. Using training sessions, we'll continue to monitor Ronnie throughout the rest of her pregnancy. We want to make sure that up until the day of delivery that she is doing well and the baby are doing well. And even on the day of delivery, we will continue our close monitoring to make sure everything goes as planned. We can't wait to see our new baby elephant calf, and we can't wait to welcome you back to the St. Louis Zoo.